What's up guys? Uh, Cole here and I'm going to start doing an evolution video of my Glock 22 police trading gun. I got the wild ass idea today to mill the slide by hand. And by hand I mean with a Dremel tool and a drill. Now uh, I would not suggest doing this because I do metal working for a living. Uh, I work on turbines and we have to keep tight tolerances. So uh, the tolerances that I kept and I did all this with calipers. Um, I got 3,000 of an inch difference in the length. That's all that's on it. That I gave myself plus or minus one and a half thousandths. So I got three thousandths here and I got five thousandths in the width. And the reason it's five thousandths for the width because it's so long and all I had was the Dremel tool and a drill. And I think that's pretty pretty on par uh, for what it is, you know. And, and I only have three hundred fifty dollars in the gun, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so after you know, after that cut in the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna start doing the evolution video, like I said, and it's gonna progress longer and longer. I'm gonna get a either a copper coated barrel or a stainless steel. I'm not exactly sure. I am going back black on the slide. Um, I think right here we'll start doing slash cuts, uh, or we might just do one long cut. I really want to cut out the 22 and the Austria. I don't exactly know why I'm so hell-bent on cutting that out. I just don't like it. Uh, it's going to be switched over to a 9mm just due to the fact that 9mm is the hot shit and all my guns are 9mm except this one now. Um, what else am I going to say? Oh, and I put a different trigger in there, but that's, that, that's different. Um, how it looks whenever you... Uh, you open it up now. I don't know if anybody has a question about it, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. That's what it looks like. It looks pretty damn cool, I think. I mean, it is it. It's just cool. Um, I think when it cycles, it would be really, really, really cool. I mean, that just... That's the cat's meow. That's the cool thing to do now. It's like my salient arms knockoff. So, uh, this is going to be part one of probably part four, maybe. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, and, uh, you know, keep watching and stay armed.